Good day everybody. So I'm here with the wifey and we are on vacation in Florida as you probably may or may not know. And today we're taking a trip up to St. Augustine in Florida. It's actually um St. Augustine and it's the oldest city in the States, I okay. think. Yeah. So we have St. Augustine in Trinidad, <laughs> well they have St. Augustine, Augustine in Florida. And yes, apparently it's really beautiful with a lot of old style vintage housing. There's a fort, there's all kind of amazing things to see, a lot of culture to see. And it's about a two hour drive up the coastline. So we're gonna be driving the coast, exploring, seeing the beaches and stuff. And then of course we'll get to this lovely old city and we'll do our best to show it off for you guys. Take some pictures, eat some food. There'll be no drone action today because I have not figured out my new drone in the States <laughs> yet. But nonetheless, it should be a really beautiful trip. And the aim is that we all know when we come to Orlando and to Florida, you shop, you go to theme parks. But as my family and other people up here tell me, there's a lot going on up here outside yeah. of those tourist traps. And I'm hoping to show you one of those things today. So where are we going, babe? St. Augustine. We're going to St. Augustine. <laughs> and we're heading down there now. So come along for your drive. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go and check it out. Bye, guys. So guys, we're driving around the A1 road heading up to St. Augustine as we uh, plan. But we've chosen this road recommended to us by my aunt because it takes the entire coastline, kind of like driving along Miaro or Manzanilla, but much longer. And you can take the highway and it's quicker to get to the place we want to go, but the beach route is much more scenic. So check it out. Stephanie's down there ready. I have my um, big boy camera here, so I'm gonna take some shots of these random surfers and it's really beautiful, so much coastline. So we're probably gonna make a few stops along the way and check it out as we make our way to our final destination. But epic. Grudgingly to talk to the camera to tell you guys about what we're seeing. Just lots of open, endless beach. The water is actually really good for surfing, apparently, and it's actually really warm. Warmer than I find at home. But it's good, guys, it's beautiful. So we're just here at St. Augustine. St. Augustine. St. Augustine's beach. We're going to the town, which is the real attraction, but of course we must stop and check out the beach. A little gloomy, but we're gonna walk out on a boardwalk that they have here and see what's going on, take a few more pictures and then head into the actual town itself. So let's go and see. So yet another beautiful little beach, much like Trinidad because the weather is a little bit gloomy right now. Of course it does not shine as much as when it's um, hit with the sunshine, but awesome. Like I've been very impressed with Florida's beaches so far. Great for pictures, awesome surfing, beautiful pairs that you could walk out and fish. Really, really nice.
Alright guys, so we're nearly to our destination, but it's time to stop for lunch. Now we're going to this place called Full Service Restaurant. It looks like a very simple kind of mild mannered restaurant. Um, mom not, and pop. Right? Mom and pop kind of restaurant as you call it. Off the side of the road does not look fancy at all, but we were told that they have some really nice food inside, some great sandwiches and different stuff. So we're gonna find out now. You can stop here if you're ever doing this adventure. So we're in the other restaurant now, we're gonna have a meal. So it, you know what it's best to describe it like? One of those um, diners at the side of like a 50s diner, 50s kind of diners kind yeah. of thing. So but apparently the food is really good. This is the menu here. Burgers, burgers, burgers. Lots of burgers and different things. We had a really fantastic burger yesterday. Thank you. Thank you so Thank you much. Yeah. Uh, ketchup and if you have any type of hot sauce that would be good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So baby, what are we thinking? I can't wait for you to take pictures so I can eat it. Yes. <laughs> so we like burgers a lot. We had a burger yesterday and we're having a burger today. We will eat different food <laughs> food at some point in time, but look at that. Delicious. And now I'll put a time lapse on so you can watch us eat it very quickly. How <laughs> sad? I don't want that too much. Alright guys, so we're here at the fort in St. Augustine yeah, and um, it actually has a Spanish name which we'll find out just now and put that in and uh, you pay 15 US to enter, it's one of the oldest forts in the US so we're going to explore it a little bit as our first part of um, our little tour of this old but beautiful place It's a Spanish, old Spanish town An old Spanish town here, so this was one of the first places in America that I guess was colonized by the um, Spaniards themselves and we're going to have a look around and then we're going to go into the actual town itself. So we're entering the park now. Stephanie has a brochure so she'll be able to actually teach us something instead of my <laughs> rubbish history. Castillo de San Marcos. Castillo de something. De San Marcos. Very good. Learn something and when you're ready you can tell us. Okay. So we're inside the fort right now and I'm actually getting interior design ideas for my bedroom when I come home. So I'm not going to dive into like all kind of extensive history about the fort because this is just one stop where we're at. But back home in Trinidad and stuff too, we have much smaller versions of this because of course the Spanish and the British and different people were also in Trinidad as you know. And as you'll see here, just like at Fort George and stuff, there's many cannons. Looking out towards the bay. Stephanie's still reading her map. <laughs> All right, Stephanie's ready to deliver our brief history lesson. Go for it, babe. Now no, I'm nervous. All right, so the Spanish built this fort, Casillo de San Marcos, to protect St. Augustine, and it was finished in 1695. Awesome. 
Yeah. And that's our history lesson for today, guys. Now back to walking around and seeing things. Hi right, guys, so we're in the city center now and it's really beautiful. So what you're going to be seeing over the next little while is a lot of um, old style buildings, cobbled, cobblestone streets like this. A lot of Spanish architecture. Of course, the place is a bit touristy right now and a lot of things have been refurbished, but nonetheless, the beauty is still there. So we're going to venture on and show you what we find. So we're on one of the busiest streets now and as you can see lots of shops and different food items ben and jerry's ben and jerry's ice cream up there So at the burger place we at, we just ate at, they recommended um, Mimi's crepes. So we're heading down there now for dessert. Not that I need any dessert at this point in time, but supposedly they're really good. So let's go and eat some food again. And right now we're across from the Medieval Torture Museum. We just ate or attempted to eat some crepes they were delicious but we're so full and feeling like two little piggies and now and i got pretzels and she got pretzels and ate like one no, but anyway we're on our way to the end of the tour now where we're gonna check out uh outside of some nice cathedrals and then make our way back So there's numerous churches here of course being once um, run by the Spanish and you know Americans tend to be very religious as well too and this is just one in there and much like many other um, things in this city there's just a lot of great architecture you can even see the doors and stuff a lot of detail now Stephanie wants me to take a picture of her in front of the door so I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna head back to the car and make our way down I hope you guys have enjoyed our little vlog today we are totally exhausted but very much worth it Took us about two hours to get here in the first place and we've been walking around for about an hour and a half and yeah that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed back to trinidad soon and back to regular service thank you very much steph thank you guys bye bye <laughs>